I chose this medium because I felt like, especially currently, there's been a lot of documentaries done about pl plastic pollution, overuse of plastic, and I thought, you know, we need a different venue. I think people are getting tired of being lectured on the, this issue of reduce, reuse, recycle. So um, given that I had this opportunity to go out to three ocean gyres, um, I felt like I, had, I was selected to come back and, and be a spokesperson for this issue that's going on. And so the, the concept is when you walk into this space, you are me. You are now in the open ocean and you're experiencing what I experienced. So the, there are five images and each image represents a gyre. So there are five major gyres in our oceans, the North Pacific, the South Pacific, the North Atlantic, the South Atlantic, and the Indian Ocean. Well, I've been to three of the five. So when you look at the five images that are up there, the last three represent the three voyages I've been on, the North Pacific, the North Atlantic, and the South Atlantic. The first two represent the research. So what we do when we're out on these voyages is we're looking at the microplastics that are floating on the surface. Very difficult to see with the naked eye. So we use a surface device that skims just a meter by a half a meter deep across the surface for about an hour. And what we're collecting is these microplastics that you see in the first image. And why I chose the title, What Goes Around Comes Around, is because the plastics that we're finding out in the middle of the ocean that are breaking up into small fragments that are ending up in our fish that we eat. And they're also washing back up on our beaches, especially islands inside gyres. So in the, in the North Pacific is the Hawaiian Islands, and I've visited beaches where these microplastics are as deep as 10 inches. Okay, so this piece here represents the real issue, and that is this overuse of one-time use plastics. So 300 million tons of plastic is produced globally each year. Half of that is made for short-time or one-time use items. So when I say short-time, we're talking about bottles. There's something we use for maybe a week, our shampoo bottles, our body washes, or I'm talking about straws and forks and bottle caps. And these are the things that we're using for a very short period of time and we're disposing of them not using them for anything, and we don't give it any value. So this represents that, that it's ending up in our oceans. And so the concept is we have an ocean that's filling up with plastic, and when we end up getting in the ocean, we become consumed again by our own plastic. One of the reasons why it looks beautiful in some respects is because this is a beautiful place. The ocean is one of the most endearing things we have on this planet. But I want them to get that we're doing something that is harming it. And this one thing that we're doing is something that we can all do something about, right? I mean, we can't go pluck mercury out of the ocean, but we can pluck plastic out. And we can reduce our use of plastic. So let's just say we decide to just make three behavioral changes. We bring our own coffee cups, we bring our own bottles for cold fluids, and we bring our own bags. Just those three things can reduce the amount of plastic we're using. And not only that, the other thing we will reduce is the use of petroleum. So here we have a limited resource that we're making plastic out of that we're using once and throwing it away. I mean, this is just not sustainable thinking. So we could really reduce our demand for oil if we just stop using so much plastic. It's pretty simple. And I think we can all get it and really make a change, like today. But we just need people to understand what's going on.